10 athletes from seven countries lined up for the start of the men's H5 cycling road race. The riders in this category use hand cycles. They were competing over a distance of 60 kilometers made up of four laps of a 15 kilometer course. The field included Alex Zanardi of Italy and Ernst van Dijk of South Africa, who finished first and second respectively in the H4 road race at London 2012. On lap one, nine of the riders formed a lead group and worked together to maintain a strong pace. Tim de Vries of the Netherlands made a break for the lead on lap two. Primoz Jeric of Slovenia had to change a punctured tyre. He was effectively out of the running. By the end of lap two, the chasing pack had caught de Vries. All nine riders were together in a close group as they completed the third lap. And on the final lap, the riders started to make serious moves in an attempt to win medals. Ernst van Dijk of South Africa in white and green was leading as they reached the final corner. Alex Zanardi of Italy and Jetsa Platz of the Netherlands was struggling to keep up. Van Dijk had judged his tactics perfectly. He crossed the line first, just in front of Zanardi and Platz. There was only two seconds between first place and seventh. The early leader, Tim de Vries, finished ninth. There were eight cyclists from seven countries competing in the men's H2 road race. This event was held over 45 kilometers, so they raced over three laps of the course. Two riders dominated the race from the start, Luca Mazzoni of Italy and William Grew of the United States. They both moved to the right-hand side of the road and accelerated away. Wolfgang Schatauer of Austria couldn't keep up with the pace. Four cyclists formed the chasing group and as backman of Sweden, Brian Sheridan of the United States, Christoph Hindrich of Belgium and Tobias Fankhauser of Switzerland. Mazzoni and Gru were more than a minute ahead of the rest by the end of the first lap, with Gru deliberately riding behind Mazzoni to save energy. Meanwhile, Hindrick, Sheridan, Backman and Fankhauser were working together. Mazzoni tried to force Gru to take the lead, but he refused. At the final corner, Gru finally moved out of Mazzoni's slipstream and used the energy he'd saved to sprint for the line. Gru crossed first with Mazzoni second, despite leading for more than an hour. Fankhauser came in third, just ahead of Backman.